Hi everyone, welcome to JavaScript interview question. In today's video, you have to guess the array dot from output and provide a valid reason why we have received, uh, why we have uh, got this particular output. And the question is, uh, there is a const variable result and in that we are actually performing an array dot from operation and we are providing a few values within that array dot from and you have to consult the log of a result and you have to guess the output what would uh, be the value stored in result and there are four options the first value uh, the first option is undefined and the next option is type error and it will return the function of uh, whatever uh, expression that we have uh, provided within the array dot from and uh, the fourth option is we will be getting an array which stores the value from 0 to 9. So please try uh, from your end and uh, provide the uh, uh, output with a valid reason. So let's try from our end and see what we are getting as the output. So as per MDN, uh, array.from helps us to create arrays either from uh, iterable objects such as map or uh, set or if the object is not iterable. Okay, And array-like objects. Uh, like objects with a length, length property and indexed uh, elements. Okay, in this case we have uh, a length property mentioned over here, right? So it is like an array-like object. Okay, so in those cases we will be able to create new arrays from that. So it is a static method uh, that is available uh, within the array prototype. So we can see how it works uh, for a particular string value. Okay, so let's see uh, uh, const string from okay so in that what we will do is we will do uh, array dot from okay array dot from of a string value okay we will pass uh, any value you can pass mm, test from okay so what uh, you are thinking what would be the output okay so you, you can uh, console the log okay console dot log of string from So what it will do is, uh, it will try to convert that string, it will take cons uh, each char as a uh, array value and it will be converting to string value. So let's see how that gets printed, okay. So let's run this. And let's see the console. So you can see here, so test from has been converted into an array. Uh, with uh, each char as an array item. So this is the way uh, array dot from works. Okay, so you you have to know that uh, for a string value, if you uh, provide that, so it will be stored as an array. Okay, so what happens uh, if you pass an array itself? Okay, and if you pass an array, and if you want to uh, increment that uh, each uh, array item, uh, say for example, like one to be converted to two. So let's see uh, what happens. Okay, array from and okay so it is like an array dot from of an array so it is expecting an array like object okay so it is like one two and three and in this we will uh, have an arrow function and uh, okay so we have to provide uh, we have to take each element so here it will be having each element and uh, that is like a map function and uh, this is an arrow function and what we need to do, we need to, this is an element, okay, so we have to increment it by uh, 1, okay, the, the, we have to double that. So let's see what is the output, okay. So console.log of array from, okay. So in this case what will happen is like uh, it will actually, uh, here we will be getting each array item, so 1. And what we are do, trying to do, we are trying to double that. So 1 plus 1, it will be 2, 4, 6. So let's see what is the output for that, okay. So here you can see it is has doubled. So 1, 2 and 3 has been converted to 2, 4 and 6. So for transforming the uh, array also, we can use uh, array dot from and it will return another array, okay. So uh, in our case, what happens is like uh, we can uh, take the question, okay. So we have a question here, so let me copy that. So here also uh, it is like an uh, array only, okay. So we have a const uh, result and uh, in that what we are trying to do, we are pr providing an array like so in length property. So length is 10 and what we will be uh, providing here is V corresponds to the element 
and i corresponds to the uh, index okay and what we are trying to do we are trying to return the index okay so what will happen uh, okay so console log of result okay so what will happen here is uh, so uh, it will be returning the index okay so returning the index means uh, so the length is 10 and each time the first time the index will be 0 and uh, it will be uh, iterating through the index so it will be incrementing like 0 1 2 3 and till the uh, length it becomes 10 okay so it will actually increment uh, 0 to 9 so let's see uh, how that uh, gets printed as the console okay printed in the console so let's refresh this so here you can see uh, it has actually incremented uh, from 0 to 9 so if we uh, try to uh, debug that okay so let's try to debug that mm. so okay so let me drag this a little bit and here I will do uh, okay so let's see how this gets printed okay in the here actually what I will try to do is I will try to return that okay uh, return I and see what it is getting printed okay so let's see uh, how this value is getting printed So yeah, it's fine. So let me put a breakpoint here and see. Okay. So if I refresh that, so here you can see V uh, is initially it's undefined and I is zero. Okay. So what happens is like return I. So all the uh, as the uh, array is actually uh, provided, we have provided the length. So each value will be initially undefined, and once we are actually returning that zero. Okay. So now what will happen? Uh, I'm trying to uh, return that. Okay. So F10. So now if you see uh, the value is incremented okay so now f10 again okay now it is 10 okay so now uh, the value will be incremented to 1 and again v is undefined okay so like that it goes uh, till uh, the value 9 okay so index 10 okay it will go from 0 to uh, 9 okay so that is the way uh, it uh, it gets printed the result as uh, 0 to 9 so if i just do okay so you can see here the result has actually moved from 0 to index to 9 uh, 9 okay so that's it uh, regarding array dot from it is very helpful okay so you can uh, try that out and see uh, the different other use cases of array dot from uh, so thanks a lot for watching <laughs>